Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna update my guide on Fortnite. A lot of stuff changed from uh, my previous guide. So now we have three different rendering modes, DirectX 11, 12 and performance mode. Also, they added uh, the DLSM mode so for the people who have like a RTX card from NVIDIA. So we'll show you what to do to make sure that you have the best like image quality and the best FPS. So let's start with Windows. I recommend to just remove the game mode from um, for, for this game. It's causing stuttering for me. Uh, I really don't like it and it, you're not getting more performance with it. So really important to put this one at off. Xbox game mark pretty make, same thing. Like just put this one at off. It caused stuttering also. And you want to remove the capture background recording and recorded audio. Really important. I recommend also to disable all those overlay, crazy overlay, like from Discord, AMD, NVIDIA. Don't use that. Uh, if you have issue with stuttering, it's probably because of your overlays. So really important to remove this. Another thing that, that I recommend is the GPU scheduling. So right GPU here. You will have the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this one is at on and to uh, apply it, you will need to restart your computer. Um, I saw a nice increase on like low end computer and mid range computer, like two to 4%. If you have an high end computer, you will not see the difference. Um, to have this option, you need the latest version of Windows and also you need uh, an NVIDIA card. I think it's the 1000 series or more recent. Uh, and for AMD, I don't think it's still available. Like you can come in in the YouTube section if you have like a 6000 series or even the 5000 uh, to let us know, but I'm not too sure if they release uh, an update for this one. Uh, another thing that's really important for Fortnite, make sure that you have the latest driver. They always like NVIDIA, AMD, they always push driver to make sure that everything is optimized. So really important to download it on their website. Also Intel, if you have like uh, an integrated GPU that uh, that is on your uh, CPU, uh, just go on the Intel website, download the latest software. Don't just like update your driver with the um, Windows update. It will not. Uh, it's like a, they just give you an update to make sure that your monitor is working well with your computer. So it's not for gaming. Really important to go on the website. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, the window mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. It's really important. I saw a lot of like a drop of FPS when I was playing like window or the borderless version. So really important to go full screen. For your resolution, I recommend to play native. So if you have like a 1080p screen, go with 1080p. If you have 720p, go with 720p. So really like just play native over there. Uh, the frame rate limit, I use unlimited. Uh, I want the more <laughs> FPS in this game. But if you're playing on the laptop sometimes with, a, like, for an example, a 60 Hz uh, refresh uh, rate screen, don't go too crazy if you have issue with your temperature. So, for an example, a software like uh, MSI Afterburner, as you can see, my GPU right now is at 66 and my CPU is at 52. So this is pretty good for a game. But if you're seeing like crazy uh, temperature, like 80 and more for your GPU, and you're getting drop of FPS when your temperature goes really high, maybe you should limit your frame rate. Uh, it can help you a lot. So for an example, you were rendering like 95 FPS, but your uh, refresh rate is at 60. Just lock your FPS at 60. It will decrease a little bit your usage and it will help you with your temperature in your game and your game will be a lot more stable. 3D resolution, just go with 100%. Uh, don't touch this. Your image quality will decrease a lot if you go lower than that. Uh, we'll talk about later about DLSS. Uh, it will uh, reduce this, but you have some kind of AI that will uh, super sampling your stuff. So... Uh, don't touch it like if you need more fps just lower your resolution view distance really depend on your pc if you have like a low-end pc go with medium if you have a better pc mid-range or more go with far or even epic this is really important when you're playing a, a battle royale i don't recommend to play near so really important to go with medium i know it's taking a lot of resources but this one is really important also for shadow i'm playing at medium because i still want to see shadow when i play this game uh, it can help you with your performance because, uh, for example, you want to know if if an enemy is on, like in the other side of the door, you want to see the shadow. But if you're struggling with your FPS, for sure, go with shadow at off because for each bracket, you can get 3%. So if you go epic to off, you can get like something like 10%. So it's pretty good. 10 to 12, it really depends. But uh, shadow will give you a lot of FPS.
Anti-aliasing, honestly, I have two config that I'm playing. Anti-aliasing at off or DLSS at on. I prefer anti-aliasing at off, I think. My game is a lot more, cl it's it's clear. I don't see like, um because the anti-aliasing in this game, I feel like the game is blurry, so I don't really like it. So that's why I'm playing at off. So I'm recommending to play anti-aliasing at off because you will get more FPS and your game will be clean. So that's about it. For texture, uh, it really depends on your VRAM on your video card. So if you have 4 gig and more, go with Epic, 3 gig I, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig, go with low. For effect and process processing, I'm going with low. Uh, you can get like 2% for each bracket, so it will help you with to stabilize your FPS and you will gain more FPS also. For the VSync, I'm going with off. I don't want any input lag, motion blur. You don't want to use this in any game, honestly, like any competitive game, always off for motion blur. Uh, show FPS really depends if you're not using a, a software like MSI Afterburner and you still want to see your FPS, you can go with on over here. Rendering mode, this one is a bit tricky. You have now three rendering mode, DirectX 11, 12, and performance that uh, it's currently in alpha. So I did a couple of tests in a couple in a couple of computer. If you have a computer like a recent computer, two years and more recent, normally Direct X12 should be fine for you. For me, Direct X12 is the more perf performant one. I'm getting the most of FPS, and my input lag is lower. But if you have like a really old computer or just an old computer, Direct X11 sometimes can be better than 12. And a lot of times it will be better than 12. But also I recommend the performance one because it's it seems really good. It's I did a test on my old uh, laptop. And for me, the best of the three is performance. But you can maybe have sometimes issue with crash. I got some random crash with performance. And Direct X11 was a lot more stable. But uh, yeah, definitely you need to test this. And if you have like, I don't know, like a new Ryzen with a 1080 and something like that, just go with DirectX X12. It will be the better one. Almost thread rendering. If you have six cores and 12 threads, for an example, and more, go with on. If you're playing like a four on a, uh, a CPU with four cores and eight threads, I don't know, like an i5 or an old i7 and stuff like that, go with off. Use GPU crash debugging off, latency marker off. If you have the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I recommend on. I did a, a couple of tests between on and on plus boost. On plus boost, I was sometimes losing crazy amount of FPS. I don't know why. Uh, so that's why I'm going just with on. Latency flash off. And the last one is the famous DLSS. If you have, again, an NT NVIDIA card with the RTX. I did a couple of tests. For me, performance and balance, the game is too blurry, so I really, I don't really like it. If you want to use one, use the quality setting. But I did a comparison between my anti-aliasing at off versus the DLSS at quality, and I was losing like 10 to 15 FPS with the DLSS at off. I saw a couple of other stuff on the internet, people with a 1060 with like an old CPU and they were getting more of FPS. So definitely test it. Me, the best to preset I feel for competitive video games in this game is more it's anti-aliasing at off or the LSS at quality. Really depend if you can't uh, play at, with anti-aliasing at off because you don't like the uh, all the... Um, breaking line across like objects and stuff like that but definitely do a test uh and performance and balance for me too blurry for me so that's why i'm not using it uh the last one is the ray tracing uh, this one off for sure you will lose <laughs> a lot of fps with it and after that make sure that your nvidia highlight is at off really important it can uh stutter your uh game and the replays make sure all the recording is at off really important so that's about it, guys. If you have any question about this guide, uh, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.